All right, guys, so let's go ahead and start up dancing. We already uh, started up our target machine. So let's go ahead and copy and paste this to our browser right here. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and use our normal um, terminal. I love mate, but again, you can use any terminal that you would like to use. And then um, like we always do on these, we'll have to ping to make sure that we're actually able to connect to this machine. And voila, all right guys, so we're able to get ready to hack this target machine. So first off, um, let's see, what does the three letter acronym SMB stand for? Um, it is server message block, cool. On this one, if you didn't know what SMB means, you can just Google it or just go to uh, chat GPT and ask. Our uh, task two, what port does SMB use to operate at? I believe it's 445. And we can just check this right now. <clears throat> Let's see, yep, port 445, 445. And then let's go back, 445, perfect. So again, if you didn't know that one, uh, you can always Google it. Number three, what is the service name for port 445 that came up in our in map scan? All right, we can do a regular in map with the target. We can also add in the SV so we can see the service version as well. We can also look at all ports if we wanted to by doing this command and then having the target IP. We're gonna do a quick one. So we're not gonna do anything extra. We're just gonna do a regular in-map with the target's address. And it came up pretty quickly. And it's saying for 445, port 445, the service is Microsoft slash DS. Kind of like, kind of like the Nintendo DS. So yeah, Microsoft DS. So the service name of 445, 445 TCP is open, Microsoft DS, that's the service right there. Next up, what is the flag or switch we can use with the SMB tool to list the contents of the share? If I'm not mistaken with SMB tool, it's a uh, dash and a big L or like an uppercase L. Again, if you're not for sure, you can always just Google uh, that one. In particular, and yeah, it's a big L. So for the SMB, it's a big L to list versus like you're looking at the contents of a regular Linux service, it's like LS, so list all the services. Now, um, how many shares are there on dancing? All right, how many shares? Let's see. So let's go ahead and connect to this and we'll be using uh, port 445, which is the SMB client. So we'll type in SMB client. Now this one, sometimes hard to remember. So if you don't remember, you can always again, Google, Google, Google is your friend or chat GPT. But um, how, do, how you connect to this would be SMB client and then four um, backwards or forward slashes. And then you would do two more. Oh, wow, wow, it didn't save that. Okay, let's go back. Let's make sure we have this saved. I hate how it just always takes it off on these. And then we're gonna add that back. And then we're gonna do another two. And then, um, okay, first off, let's see if that connects. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So now we don't know the password or anything for this yet. So I'm gonna press enter to see if we can connect. Okay, cool, so we're not able to connect. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and have the list of services for this, so this is great. So first off, let's go back to SMB decline again, and we're gonna list the services of this. Bam, all right. So again, what we just did, we just did an SMB client. I did the L so we can list the services of that target. Once we did this, we're able to see our current um, shares that we can hopefully be able to access this machine through. 
We have, we have our different names. We have admin, C, IPC, and work shares. And on the right side, we see where they're connected to. So the admin connected to your remote admin, the C, the DeFi share, et cetera, et cetera. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and try to connect through each of these. So we're gonna try to connect through the admin, the C, IPC, and work shares and see which one we're able to use to target or get inside the uh, system. But let me look at the question one more time. Um, how many shares are there? Oh, wow, yeah, I didn't read that. Okay, so how many shares? So yeah, there's four shares. There's one share, two share, three share, four shares. So for this one, it would be four. So again, if you wanted to find that, you can just type in SMB client, um, uppercase L with the dash, and then the target's IP address. So now, what is the name of the share we are able to access to in with a blank password. Okay, so again, we're trying to get in with a blank password. So now we can go ahead and start trying to hack into this. So we're gonna do SMB client four, and then we're gonna add in, oh wow, I hate how that keep doing that. Let's delete that again. And let's add in again the copy. Let's go back down. <laughs> and then let's paste that here. And then after we paste it, we're gonna do one, two, and then we're gonna try admin. And then asking for passwords, so we're not gonna put anything in, we're just gonna press enter. Okay, so that failed to connect, so it, it's not admin. Let's try another one. Let's try the second one on the list. Two, three, four. And um, let's, add, let's put a space. Ah. Put a space for, and then we'll add. Oh wow, we may have to clear some of this out from the screen, and then we'll do two more, and then we'll do uh, C space. Okay, we got denied again. All right, so it's not the top two. Let's try IPC SMB clients one two three four. Let's paste that in one two and then yeah ipc dollar sign password okay cool cool so right now it's looking like we're able to get in let's type in help to see the current um commands that we can use and look at that yeah we we currently see some of the same ones that we saw on, like on a regular linux like ls to list everything get to get it dir for the for the uh, directory um, do I see a CD yeah, change? So yeah, we can change directory as well. Um, let's just list everything. Okay, so it's not connecting. Uh, let's try LS one more time. Okay, we're not connecting to anything. Uh, let's try um, another one. Let's try just get just to see if anything pop up. Okay, nothing. All right, cool, cool, cool. So it's looking like the IPC was not the correct one. So let's exit and to exit, you can just type exit. So we're, we're gonna try the last one. And the last one was uh, work shares with a um, uppercase W and a uppercase S. So we're gonna clear the screen. And to, to clear the screen, just type in clear. So now we're gonna do another one. It's SMB client one, two, three, four. Paste, and then we're gonna another two. And then we're gonna do the work shares. Remember, uppercase W and uppercase S. And then we're gonna press enter. We're not gonna put no password in, just enter. Okay, so we got back in again. So this is probably the correct one. Let's type in help to see the commands. And now let's try a command again. We'll try list. Perfect, all right. So now we have the correct one. So um, before we continue the rest of this, let's just go back to the questions. Okay, what is the name of the share we're able to access in the end with a blank password? It will be uh, work shares. That's the last one we tried that was able to work. So now, what is the command we can use within the SMB shell to download the files we find? And again, looking at these commands here, they're pretty much the exact same on a lot of the Linux. And to download on Linux will be to use the get command. And let's just see who we see the get command here. And we do right there, get. So it would be get for this one. Bam. All right. And then the last one, submit the root flag. 
So first, we have two files. We have the amy.j and the uh, james.p. Let's go ahead and take a look at the amy.j. So let's change directories to amy.j. All right, we're within the amy.j file. So we're gonna press ls to list everything in that. And we have worknotes.txt. So let's go ahead and download the worknotes.txt just so we can have that. So let's get worknotes.txt. All right, we have that downloaded. So now we're gonna go ahead and go back. Um, a quick way to go back in directories is just to use two dots. And then I'll push back a directory. So now when we do ls, we see um, the directories again that we saw. <laughs> so now we see amy.j and then we see james.p again. So because we, we went back, we're not in uh, amy. So now we're gonna go ahead and change directory again to james.p. All right, now we're within james.p and we're doing ls. Okay, so we have our flag.txt. Those are the ones that we get our flag with. So let's go ahead and download flag by putting git and then flag.txt. Bam, we got that too. So now uh, we can go ahead and exit. So again, to exit, just type in exit. And we're gonna clear the screen. And well, actually, let's, let's make a mental note. We have worknotes.txt and flag.txt. So we got worknotes and flag. So let's clear. Oh, actually, you know what? We didn't have to make a mental note because we downloaded everything. So now if we pick LS on our machine, yeah, yeah, we put LS on our machine, we have our uh, flag.txt and our worknotes. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside the work notes first. And remember guys, to um, look at what's in those files, we use the cat command. I am horrible at pronouncing the correct uh, definition of cat. It's like a seven, eight, nine letter word. So we're gonna type in cat uh, dot work notes dot txt. All right, and within that file it's saying you can start the Apache server on the Linux machine, security FTP server, and set up when I am on dancing. All right, they give them kind of some more info right there. And then let's take a look at our flag.txt. Bam, and we have our code right here. So all you would do is just copy that and then paste that right there and that should give you the answer guys. So hope you guys enjoyed another fun, quick hacking section uh, doing the dancing terminal or machine from Hack the Box. We still got some more we gotta do with you guys. And um, if you haven't already, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe and I will be seeing you guys in the next video. Peace.